YouTube, this is your boy Dan, aka A Job. I bring you guys the first ever Pokemon Moon Bug Lock episode six. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show your love and that like button down below, and definitely make sure you guys subscribe. If you're new, if you missed the last episode, my goodness, things went down. We ran into Team Skull, which was just not too uh, not too bad, really. But then I faced the trial captain, Alima, and because I continue to mess up his name, he decided to take one of the lives from our Lord and Savior Overdrive, our Grubbin. Unfortunately, on a bit of a mistake on my part, uh, if you if you kind of re re uh, thinking about that situation, man, we had a 30% chance to flinch. It was negative two on the accuracy or minus two on the accuracy and it lived on like one HP, it just was a struggle. But either way, we're still here, we got three bug Pokemon, one life on Grubbin left, uh, two lives on the other two, so we should be sitting pretty good here. We'll just have to be a little bit careful with uh, with Mr. Grubbin here, so we can hopefully get it to a Vikavolt before all, all is said and done. But we do have a question of the day today, we are sitting here in the Pokemon Cemetery, it seems like, and our question is, what is your favorite ghost type Pokemon of all time? Let me know in the comment section below. I would say my favorite ghost type is probably Sableye. I really like Sableye quite a bit. Uh, it's, it's been it was a lot of fun to use competitively and, and I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be a really cool Pokemon just in general for a long time I love the fact that it's got that mega evolution I've also kind of grown to like mega Binette quite a bit I didn't really like Binette itself, but mega Binette I, I like a little bit more so Here's Pokemon breeder a Pokemon breeder Ikui Ikue probably Ikue. He's got a Pikachu in a cool pokeball too I don't even know a pokeball that was and I got overdrive here, so we're just gonna rock with overdrive I think overdrive can beat a Pikachu Although, it, oh, I have Mud Slap. Let's Mud Slap it. That sounds like a good idea. Just hit him with that Mud Slap. He's going to Tail Whip me. I love the little sparkles that came off that. That was pretty cool. But yeah, Sableye for me, I would say. And then I would say if uh, I really like Mega Banette. Uh, Rotom actually has kind of grown on me a little bit too. I, I like using Rotom. Regular Rotom, obviously, its its forms aren't, uh, you know, aren't uh, ghost type. But yeah, so let me know in the comment section below. Um, so we're gonna keep going here. I want to try to get through this cemetery see what's going on here I know we have our trial coming up our first ever trial. I'm very excited about that our quick clock coming in clutch here We're gonna be able to hit this thing with a mud slap So I'm trying to take advantage of using these mud slaps and really weaken this Pikachu So he can't hit me and since I know that this Pikachu is likely has static I'm kind of avoiding attacking it uh, just because I don't want to get paralyzed, but I guess I could use the um, Pokemon refresh if I do so it's not a terrible idea or get these uh, attack drops. I'm just gonna attack them with bite this time. If we get paralyzed, like I said, I'll be able to use the uh, the Pokemon refresh and kind of heal it off. And I don't know if that increases the affection of the Pokemon or whatever, but uh, I do want to try to increase their affection, and make them all love me at least a little bit, hopefully. Twilight grows to 12, which I don't know when and if they change the level up pool, but Twilight learned some really good moves soon, hopefully. Uh, we got a Pokeball over here, a Paralyzed Heal, and I do need to actually catch a Drifloon at some point in this cemetery if I could find one, because there's that person who wanted us to give them a Drifloon. I don't know where they were, but I do remember someone asking for a Drifloon, so maybe we'll just run in the grass really quick and see if we can find one. And obviously I'm not going to use it on the playthrough, but I'll find it for them and, and maybe get whatever they're going to give me. Ooh, a Mischievous! Wow, that's really cool. You can catch Mischievous at this point in the game. Oh my goodness, I may have to do a, a, a ghost only playthrough of this game at some point. Mischievous, Ghastly, um, who else? Drifloon, I mean those are some really cool ghost types to start things off. And I know you can get Mimikyu at some point. We may have to do a ghost playthrough one day. I dig it, I dig it. We're gonna have a, this is my first playthrough obviously of, of Sun and Moon. And we're gonna probably end up doing a couple of Let's Plays by the time things are done, whether it be through Twitch, whether it be through YouTube, etc. So I'm open and open to hearing any ideas you guys may have for for different ideas, different playthroughs, different ways to make things fun and unique. Um, but the bug one, I had to do bug. Bug is just bug is just my favorite. All right, so we knocked out that thing. Got a lot of experience for that. Let's see if there's any uh, any Drifloons hiding in here in the little the little cemetery. What do we got? Got a little Drifloon maybe. Another mischievous. Okay, I might be able to just run from this thing. But uh, this is a pretty good Pokemon. I'm debating whether I want to knock it out. It's level eight. Let's just beat it. You know, we might as well. We know it's. Uh, we know two bites will probably be enough. Yeah, it looks like it will. So I'm just gonna hit it twice. Hopefully, it doesn't spite me. He's gonna growl. That's totally fine. Take the experience while we can get it. You know, might as well level up a little bit. Now let's see if we can find this Drifloon now. See you later, Mischievous. Thanks for hanging out. Level 12 for Overdrive. I think tied for the highest level. Gets that to attack. I don't know what level it evolves into Charger Bug, but hopefully not too long. 
Um, let's see. Come on, give me that drift loon. There's gotta be a drift loon in here somewhere, right? Let's see. In before Ghastly? Another mischievous. Okay, I'll run from this one. We'll uh, we'll circle around here for a few minutes until I find a drift loon. So I'll do a quick cut and see if I can find a drift loon real quick. All right, guys. So it seems that there's no drift loon in that grass. I looked for a little bit there, and I wasn't able to find anything. So I'm not sure if it's just in a different patch of grass, or maybe it's based on time of day, or maybe it's only in you know Pokemon Sun and in Pokemon Moon we get mischievous. But that'd be really weird if they did that. So I don't know. We'll just keep it rolling, and if I find another patch of grass. Uh, I'll look for it, but it does seem that depending on the patch of grass you're in, you'll actually find different Pokemon. Ooh, Alolan Diglett! Oh man, it's an Alolan Diglett! And we're gonna send out a little grub in here. I actually don't know what type Alolan Diglett is, but uh, I'll just go for a Mud Slap and see what happens. He's gonna go for Metal Claw, so maybe he's Steel type. I think he's Steel and Ground maybe or something. Uh, well, that's super effective, so definitely Steel type. Or Rock, maybe he's Rock type. Let's go for the Bite this time. And we're gonna get that nice quick claw activated. We lowered his uh, his accuracy, and that actually just straight up knocks him out. See you later, Diglett. Peace out, buddy. Alolan Diglett, Officer Worker Jeremy, I think it was his name. See you later, buddy. You didn't stand a chance, did you? Is he gonna stand? Oh, a Pokeball. And there's a TM over there. We gotta get that TM. We got a big mushroom. We could sell that at some point. Looks like there's another trainer over here. You want a battle, bro? Trying to throw down? I think he is. Yeah, the Pokemon that was my family rests. However, rather than being mournful, I endeavor to present myself as a cheery. So, I'm sorry to hear about your family, man. I don't know. Do you have ghost types, though? Gentleman Stanley. I'm surprised there's no, like, Hex Maniacs hanging out here. This seems like the great place. It's got a Makuhita in a luxury ball. Very cool. I love that, that, that little feature they added where the Pokemon, the wild trainers have their Pokemon in different Pokeballs. I think that's so great. Um, do I want to try to beat this thing with Grubbin, or do I just want to switch safely? Let's just go for the Vice Grip. I don't think he can knock me on one hit, so we'll get that nice quick claw boosted Vice Grip here. Boom! That did about half. It's gonna tackle. Does very little, surprisingly. This Maku Heat is not as strong as I thought it was gonna be. But I think, uh, a Vice Grip and then maybe just anything will knock him out. And he's gonna get that Focus Energy, but this Maku Heat is going down, no problem. I'm at level 9. So it seems like we're pretty appropriately leveled. Oh, full restore. These guys pulling out all the stops. Just random trainers using items. That's, that's, I didn't expect that. I mean, it was one thing when uh, Elima used a potion, but this guy just straight up busted out full restore. But you know what? There have been in, in other games, there's, there's situations where they, they do that. Um, I'm trying to think. Like there's some of those Poke fan trainers that use potions and berries and stuff, I think. Maybe not potions, maybe just berries. I don't know. But he hits three times with his little arm thrust there. He did get a crit, but. We're gonna get that this uh, nice quick claw, even though it's not necessary. I do feel like uh, quick claw should have been adjusted, where if you're already faster, it just doesn't work. But whatever. Either way, and gentleman Stanley goes down, no problemo. Maybe this little patch of grass here is where I can get uh, where I can get uh, Drifloon. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's see if there's anything going on here. I'll go to that TM though. I think that's what this is. Confide TM 100 Confide. Okay, not too shabby. Let's see if there's anything going on in here. Maybe instead of Mischievous, this will be Drifloon instead. I don't know. Or I don't know what's going down. There's another Ghastly, so I found one of those before. So I'll do the same kind of thing. I'll just run around in this grass for a few minutes and see if there's anything different. All right, guys, so it doesn't seem to be anything in there. So I think we're done with the cemetery. Not really a whole lot going on here. We can kind of head out for now. But we did grab the TM and kind of kind of did some shenanigans. So let me, uh, oh man, where did that even come from? There's that Pokeball up there that I want to grab. I kind of want to go back and heal, so let me, uh, another quick cut here, let me just run to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then uh, we'll jump back into things. Alright guys, so there's another one of these Pokemon in the grass, and I kind of want to have them approach me again, see if there's going to be any rare items, and maybe we'll get a rare Pokemon too. So let's see, because he did say that you'd get rare items sometimes, and it's an Alolan Rattata. Alright, little little Rattata here. I do, I love the Alolan forms, guys, I really do. Uh, I actually just did an, art, uh, an interview recently, uh, like a week or two ago, talking about the Alolan forms um, on iDigital Times, and I just had a, I, I just really, really love the Alolan forms. I think it was such a great way to take Pokemon that we know and love and, and maybe don't love so much and kind of give them new light and new focus in a game, you know? So you kind of give tribute to the old Pokemon, like Rattata here, but you do it in a way that, um, you know, you kind of redesign them and, and, and almost create a new Pokemon from something that we've already seen before, which I really like. Maybe he'll drop a, uh, I don't know, like a Choice Scarf or something. <laughs> I doubt it. Any any item? No? No item? 
Long black screen, no item. This, he's just supposed to be items, man. Let me talk to him again. Uh, the rustling, they sometimes drop items after battle. So I guess just bad luck for the first two. No big deal. All right, let's uh, run around here. Got a big rock. We gotta break these rocks later. If we can get a Tauros. Seems like our flag is up ahead here. There's a, there's a house over here. Let's check out this house. What's going on here? It's good for kids to experience their own journeys, but running away even, without even word to your parents is another thing entirely. I tried to set that boy of mine straight, but when I did, I was the one who got beat. What did you get beat from, dude? Did your kid beat you? Oh, can I go out the back door? Maybe we can go into his backyard, I don't know. It seems like they're, just looking at the mini-map, there might be, oh, maybe it's his kid's room. It is his kid's room. Anything in here? He's got some trophies. Thin layer of dust on his trophies. Well, it looks like this, whoever this is, is a good trainer. We know it's not a Lima's house because we saw a Lima's house. What is this red book? There's a photo album. It hasn't been touched lately. Well, you're not going to let me read it. Okay. Oh, so I get the whole story. There's dust in the trophies. His kid was a good trainer, left to become a trainer, and that's, that's all she wrote. So let's run through this grass, hop down here, and grab this Pokeball. A heel ball. Sweet. All right. Let's, let's switch things up here a little bit. Let's get overdrive. Switch them out here. Let's get Aster some more love. Everyone's sitting at level 12, so that's pretty good. And let's traverse our way through to the next trial, hopefully. Or to the first trial, I guess. Pokemon can learn new moves uh, in an instant if you use a TM on them. What do you got going on in here, man? Phew, time for a little rest, I think. Riding may be easier on me, but that doesn't mean my Pokemon doesn't get tired. Hmm. All right, so we went that way. Seems like there's something going on behind this guy's house, but let's battle this dude first. This little dude here. Preschoolers, pistons, full power. This little preschooler is ready to throw down, man. It's always so scared. Like, how can they give these little dudes little dudes Pokemon? You know what I mean? Like, we gotta wait till we're like 12 or whatever. Oh, he's got a Spiro. That is what I did not want to see, my friend. You're rocking the shirt that I want, little man, but uh, you have a Spiro. What level is it? Level eight. Okay, so that's not terrible. I think a powerful Swift here should be able to do some work. Silk Scarf boosted. There we go. We're gonna take this pack. It's probably gonna do like half. A little less than half, so not too shabby. And another Swift never misses. Should be able to knock out this Spiro. Hit him with those stars, Aster. That's what I'm talking about. See you later, Spiro. I get so worried about flying types. We're gonna go to 13. I don't know what level Aster evolves, but I'm very excited for when it does. I haven't even looked it up because I just I just want to be surprised. I think it's like somewhere between 14 and 16, 18 I think at the highest. I didn't actually go over here though. Let's see what's in here. Is this the Pokey Rad place or something? It's a nice motel, isn't it? We're always doing our best here, so I'm sure you can always understand why we're booked up. If you're off on the island challenge, you need the help of many different Pokemon. It's a vending machine. Oh, they're all sold out. Is there anything in the trash can? Nothing. Nothing over there either. All right, well, might as well check everything. Hmm. Let's go this way. Always gotta look for Pokeballs hidden. There's a Mew under this truck, I'm sure. There's a Super Potion. I'm assuming I can't go back there. No. Looking for everything here. There's a couple doors. Oh, this is the motel. I see now that it's a motel. Okay, I didn't really realize it was a motel at first, but now I'm feeling it. Oh, I just barged into these people's house. Or their hotel room. Sai! You've got a Pokedex then, have you? I guess I'll give you some nest balls. Oh, thanks, man. That was cool of you. Why is this guy so sad? I think I finally nailed my, nailed my hairstyle, but now my makeup doesn't seem to match. The struggle is real. What's up, little Magnemite? Bzzz, Magnemite. Magnemite. All right, Magnemite. Well, thanks for that. Okay. To the little flag up here. And it's... The, oh, it's a deli bird. Shady Penguin's in this Let's Play? Shady! Brr. Deli Bird has a hold of your bag and won't let go. It's, it seems to want to follow you into the berry fields. Oh my goodness, I did not expect to see a Deli Bird out here. Is it Christmas? Something's going on. Oh, I wrote him. In the berry fields. Get in there. I need my berry supply. Okay. So before we go into this berry field any further, I don't know what it confide does. I don't think it's very good. We're going to have to go grab some potions. Let's heal up a little bit here on the two two Pokemon that are weakened just to be safe. Because you never know what we're going to run into. We've also, I love the little new thing that it shows right next to the uh, the item. That's cool. All right, we need to make sure that we're we're healed up and ready to go. Something's going on in the berry fields. I need my berry supply. Oh, it's Team Skull again. There's their shenanigans. Team Skull's back. 
You got a bunch of lame berries. Now Team Skull's your adversaries. Taking berries off your hands. The start of our plans, yo. Let's get figgy with it. Watch while I nanab me some ba Oh my goodness. I'll share my berries for free with any Pokemon, but you'll not have a single one from me. So what, I'm lower than a Pokemon? I already got self-esteem issues, man. Team Skull is the best evil team already. They're just so awesome. What are you looking at, huh? 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 Yo, hold up, you're... You got a bone to pick with us, homie? You and Cat may have beat us at the marina, but you won't be so lucky if we get serious, yo. I appreciate your concern, child, but these team skull punks do nothing but talk big and act small. You carry on with your island challenge. Don't give them a moment's notice. Yo, we're standing right here. At least act a little bit afraid of something, you know? Yo, you trying to run away? We're gonna have to take your Pokemon along with the berries. Yo, check out how hard-headed Team Skull grunts can be. Oh boy. Gonna take on Team Skull here. Is it a double battle? We haven't done a double battle yet. It looks like it's just one of them at a time. Team Skull grunt, what does he got, a Zubat? Last time he had a Zubat, it wasn't, it was very anticlimactic. He's got a Drowsy. I see you with your Drowsy, okay. Gonna have to use Grubbin, I think, on this one. Overdrive's gotta come back. I could use Aster. He's level 10, I think we'll be okay though. Let's make the swap into uh, into Overdrive here. Cause I do have Bite, and Drowsy's typically more of a specially defensive oriented Pokemon. So Bite should be uh, like two hit, I would say. Probably two hits, maybe three. But I should be able to take a pound. Yeah, it's not gonna do too much. Drowsy's relatively, relatively weak. But it's cool, so far we've seen uh, Zubat and Drowsy for Team Skull. So it seems like they're rocking, you know, Poison and, and Psychic, maybe Dark types, a little Rattata, things like that. And we got that nice flinch. There you go, Overdrive. Let's get let's get another bite going here. All right, Drowsy going down. See you later, buddy. Easy enough. 113. Leveling up. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. Wicka wicka wicka. Well, that was that was it. Do I have to face the other one now? Yo, for real? You best stop trying to act hard, kid. I'm so annoyed right now, homie. Let's go mess with Ilima again. Oh yeah, let's do it. Verdant Cavern is pretty close by anyway. And you, you better listen to what my boy says and drill it into the thick skull of yours. For real, you better not forget Num Skull. We're Team Skull. All right, Team Skull, see you later. Oh, you and that ladybug there did quite the number on him. It was actually my grubbin. Allow me to thank you for driving off those Team Skull Num Skulls. An Oranberry. Ah, oh, that's, that's actually useful. We could use these berries. Oranberries can restore some Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let one hold a berry and they'll eat it when they need it. If you're ever looking for more berries, you won't have to look very hard. That pun though. Berries grow like, well, like weeds here in Alola, so feel free to pick up any you find. Enough with all this helping folks out in pinches. Gotta get to that trial at last, kiddo. That is true, Rotom. Thanks for telling me that. I love reading the little Rotom blurbs there at the end, at the little bottom. I love that feature. I thought I was going to be, I think a lot of people were a little frustrated when they saw kind of how much hand-holding the game was going to have, like telling people, oh, we just pulled a revive out of nowhere? Wow, thanks, man. It's Christmas. Let's talk to all of them. Maybe they'll give me stuff. Did he? Well, the first one did. Did he? Okay. Flap. So one of them gave me something. Cuckoo. Hey, hey, I got a revive out of that. That was worth it. I'll take it. We might have to sell it later, so. Anything going on behind the berry? Ooh, secret passageway. A silver powder? Isn't that what boosts bug type moves? I think that's what that does. Where is it? Silver powder. An item held uh, by a Pokemon. It's shiny silver powder that will boost the, po boost the power of bug type moves. How great is that? We're going to give that right to Twilight. Twilight's not holding an item at this point. That is perfecto. How sweet is that, man? Just got the item to boost. Our uh, our bug moves doesn't get much better than that. So here's a big berry farm. Doesn't seem like there's really any berries planted over here though. Do I have to be the one to plant them? Oh, I wonder if this is like X and Y berry farm where you have to um a big mushroom. You have to like plant them and mix the two together and you know get them to cross pollinate and whatever else. I don't know. I'm not about the berries though. I'm not about to sit here and start planting berries, man. I'm sorry. That's your job. It's a fertilizer. Oh, so this guy's gonna plant the berries himself. I mean, do I have to plant them? I, it doesn't even let me try, so. Feel free to plant some berries so I can have some, man. I don't know. Look at the flo the flowers and stuff. That looks cool. All right, let's get out of here. We got things to do. To the trial we go, route two. Trainer tips, trying to take another person's Pokemon makes you no different than a thief. Pokeballs are only to be used to try to catch wild Pokemon that have no trainers. 
It's just a nice little law there. Oh, another trainer. Are you ready to throw down, lady? Let's do it. I love how they have the like the screen that highlights. Alola, what do you think? I'm pretty good at greetings, huh? I'm also great at Pokemon battles. All right, well, let's see what you got then. Let's see what you've got. Ooh, thumbs up from Backpacker Ashley. What is she gonna send out? A Cottony. Okay, Pokemon I didn't expect to see. Cottony. You know, hey, I'll take it. Level 10 Cottony, we should have no problems beating this thing with a couple Swifts. Maybe three, three Swifts. Swift. Yeah, about three. He's gonna Fairy Wind. That doesn't do too much though, cause we're we're pretty bulky. Even with the negative special defense nature, um, you know, Letty, but its best stat is its special defense. So even though while it's pretty weak generally, when it evolves, um, it'll have a pretty decent special defense stat. So that's not too bad. It's relatively fast. It's gonna definitely end up being kind of a team supporter on this team, I think. So hopefully it'll learn some some decent some decent moves. But having those dual screens is is pretty nice for now. It could come in handy against the trials or something. Growth. Don't get fully paralyzed. Sweet. All right, so now I get to use Pokemon to refresh again and heal off this little Lediba. Got the paralysis. Excuse me, paralysis. Backpacker Ashley goes down. All right, let's bust out refresh here. Let's bust it out. Um, Pokemon to refresh. And oh, there's Grubbin. What's up, little guy? How you holding on down there? Let me give you a little little head rub. Got to show some love. All right. Let's switch it up. We got to get Ladybug up in here. We got to get uh, get Aster up in here and heal this because Aster is just feeling kind of sad. Let's give you the medicine. Oh, it looks like your paralysis is going away, Aster. You're going to feel better soon. If I'm doing this right. There it is. Now you look great. Let's give you let's give you some some munchy things, some beans. Make it full. Give me a nice little head rub here. Can I give you a belly rub? Are you interested in a belly rub? No, you definitely want the head rub. Okay. You didn't, you, you're full. All right. There's a lot of hearts coming from there. Did you raise your affection? No, still no affection raise. I'm trying to figure out how to raise their affection more. The fullness is really high. Let me try to pet Aster just a little bit more. Maybe I could raise his affection. I don't know. Let me try. Because it doesn't seem like there's mini games in Refresh, so let me just keep petting it and see if, if it grows another heart. It's getting four hearts flying off of it, but I'm not very knowledgeable about this part. Still still happy. I'll try one more time or two more times. I think you have to rub it even longer every time for it to be happy. Oh, there it is. I think it just leveled up. I think it just leveled up. That definitely seems like that's what just happened. Do you have two hearts? Oh, you do have two hearts. Now we know. Now we know how to make this happen. You're like stoked. Your affection's up. Oh my goodness. Do I just keep doing this? Let's 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 get the affection up on on Ast or uh, Twilight here. Twilight's looking pretty happy. Let's do a quick little head rub here for Twilight. See if we can get this thing to go up a little bit in affection. If I can get these guys to like start dodging moves and stuff, I'm down. Like that'll be sweet. Let's keep rubbing your head. I'm gonna give you some some beans too, because I'm sure you're hungry, little guy. Let's give you some beans. I got plenty of them. Here's some beans. Eat it up, buddy. I don't know if the affection and stuff goes down too, so I'm trying to make sure I stay at least a little bit on top of it. Oh, I think I think it just leveled up. Seems pretty happy. I'm gonna feed it one more time. Eat up there, little butterfree. Sweet. I think we're good. Let's just see if it if its affection went up. It did. Okay, cool. So I got him too. Uh, overdrive's a little bit lower, but we can make up for that at some point. I want to just take on at least another trainer or two here before we wrap up. So let's run this way. Big patch of grass here and some other stuff going on. What's going on down here? I hear like some rustling going on. Oh, there's one of those Pokemon that wants to attack me. One of these shadow Pokemon. Let's do it. Anytime I see one of these, I'm going to go for it because I want to see what items they have. And a Lolan Rattata again. All right. Well, I think uh, I think Aster's ready for this. Ooh, he just he just did a little dance there. I don't know. If that means he's happy or something, but let's do it, Aster. Hit him with these Swifts. Bam. Powerful. Uh, let's hope this uh, Rattata does not quick attack me. I don't want to have to use a potion right now. Sweet. I hope this thing drops an item. Drop something, Rattata. Please, give me an item. We got a boost. We actually gain more experience. 
Wants to learn Bug Bite? Oh yeah! I'm gonna delete... Do I want to delete Vice Grip? For Bug Bite? Um, I think between- yeah, because I kind of want to keep String Shot. You never know when you're gonna need String Shot, if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna give him Vice- I'm gonna give him Bug Bite over- over Vice Grip. And Twilight grew to 13, very nice. Wants to learn Poison Powder. Alright, so now we gotta take a look at our moves here. We're gonna get rid of Tackle, I think, for Poison Powder. Because that could definitely come in handy. Uh, we'll have to decide what, what kind of powders we want. Wants to learn Stun Spore. I'm gonna keep old moves. I'm not gonna teach him Sun Sore, but I am gonna teach him Sleep Powder. Um, we're gonna get rid of, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of String Shot for Sleep Powder. And it's 95% accurate? Wait, was Sleep Powder 95% accurate? I, th I thought I saw 95%. No item again. Let me see here. Um, let's take a look at, at this guy right, real quick. 75%. Okay, that was interesting. I don't know what I what I was just looking at, but either way, do we have... We do have compound eyes, too, which is really nice, so we'll get that boost. We'll definitely get a boost there, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a little swap here, too, kind of while I'm at it. I'm gonna take um, the item, and I'm gonna move it, and we're gonna give it to, um, to Overdrive. So that way, Overdrive has the silver powder, because it seems like that's just the best case scenario, um, having silver powder on Overdrive. Let's see if there's anything going on in this patch of grass. Seems like a lot of Alolan Rattatas. What else we got? <gasps> a cutie fly! Oh man! I didn't even know cutie fly was in this grass! That's awesome! Level nine cutie fly. I feel like our entire team, Aster seems a little bit worried about being able to battle. Wait, why are you worried? I gotta catch this little thing though. Let's um, let's switch it out. Let's go into... Now you know what, I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna go for Swift. That's so sweet that we're gonna catch a cutie fly right now. It's gonna go for Fairy Wind, that's fine. Oh man, we're gonna go for Swift here. And I did about half. I don't wanna chance it, so I'm gonna go into Twilight here and we're gonna put it to sleep, and then I'm gonna try to catch it. That's so sweet though. I didn't actually know Cutie Fly was in this grass, so pretty sweet. It's gonna go for Absorb, okay. I see you with that Cutie Fly, it did absolutely zero. Oh, I like the animation though. And it's a fairy type too, which is just lovely. Okay, we're gonna go for that sleep powder. Now remember, every, I'm basically gonna, anytime I encounter a bug type, I'm gonna catch one of each of those bug type Pokemon. It doesn't have to necessarily be the first one I find every time, but just one of each. And then um, and then we're gonna add that to our team and they get two lives. So Cutie Fly will be added to our squad here, hopefully, if I don't have any issues catching it. I'm gonna try this nest ball here, because I think it'll look cool. I should have thrown the premier ball, but we'll try the nest ball. See if it'll stay in it. It's for lower level Pokemon. He's sleeping. You know, this should work, I would guess. Two and... Got him. Sweet. Cutie Fly was caught. All right. Twilight gained 95. Aster gained... Oh, so they're getting boosted experience because we were using the refresh. Cutie Fly's data will be added to the Pokedex. Oh, I love this little guy. So cool. Cutie Fly. Registered. What does its little description tell me? Why don't you check that out? What kind of Pokemon it is that you caught, pal? Myriads of cutie fly flutter above the heads of people who have auras resembling those of flowers. And it's a little bee fly Pokemon. So I have a very nice little easy, easy nickname for this one. Another female. I'm going to name her Honey. I like the name Honey. Kind of like Honey is in like, hey honey. And also Honey is in like, you know, the stuff that bees have. Honey. Anyway. Cutie fly it is. Let's let's check it out. Let's check out what nature we got. All that other good stuff. Oh, I'm so glad I ran in this grass. And it's asleep, so we'll definitely use refresh to try to wake him up. It is going to be a neutral nature, it seems. I don't see any nature on it. Honey gather, so it's going to be getting us hum honey. And it's bashful, strongly defiant. But it does have fairy wind, stun spore, and absorb, so not terrible. Not too bad at all. So there you go. Cutie fly it is. Let's, uh, let's heal it up in, uh, in refresh really quick because this little guy is uh, is sleeping. I don't want that. We gotta wake him up. What is it? What are you questioning about? Oh, you're happy. I don't know what's going on there, Butterfree. Um, let's switch it up. Let's get Kidu Fly in here. Switch Pokemon. Yeah, I know. You're really struggling, little guy. Let me give you one of these, uh, these little medicines here. See if we can heal you up. See if we can wake you up. Wake up, Kidu Fly. It's gonna be okay, little guy. Little girl. It's gonna be okay. Wake up. Wake up. Am I actually doing anything here? Okay, there we go. 
Sweet. Cutie fly is happy now. I think it's hungry too. Let's give it a little bit of food. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. I know where it got its name now. I know where it got its name. Here, have another one. You can have this purple one. It looks, it looks yummy. Yummy. Let's give you a little head pat here. Give you a nice little head pat with your wings going like crazy back there. And you seem pretty happy. I wonder if I can get you to... Oh, look, his, his, little, his little beak. Oh, it's so cute. Let's, let's keep rubbing your head, see if I can get you to grow up a little bit. If we can get those experience boosts, that's going to be clutch. Very awesome. I have no complaints against my Pokemon gaining more experience here and there. Take this little one. Keep going. I know you're hungry. Keep eating, cutie fly. Little hearts going everywhere. Another head scratch, maybe. A little head scratch. There we go. Sweet. How you doing? Is you, you got one happiness? You got one. You have two, you have one, and you have two. And you're pretty full. Grubbin is definitely like, I gotta feed Grubbin really quickly. Let's feed Grubbin. What's the question mark for, buddy? Oh, you're happy, okay. Just making sure, I'll give you some food, man, if you're hungry. Fire away, little guy. Om nom nom. There you go, dude. There you go, let's give you one more little, little food thing. I wanna see if I can get you to two hearts, cause if I get you to two hearts, that'll be helpful too. Maybe you'll grow a little faster, help it out. I love this little guy. He's so cute, oh, there it is, we got it. He just went up to two hearts too. Oh, did he? I think he did. He's, he's just sitting there. I went to switch and then he just kind of... Okay, so we got him to two hearts too. Sweet! So Cutie Fly's looking good, Grubbin's looking good, they're all looking good. Honey, we got Honey. Pretty awesome on the squad, ready to rock and roll. Still haven't gotten to the trial yet, but I have a feeling that we're gonna make it there on the next episode, guys. So I'm gonna wrap up right here, and we are headed to the trial, guys. Our first trial in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, definitely leave a like rating. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I did have a question of the day today, guys. If you missed it, what is your favorite ghost Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section below. And that is gonna be that for me, guys. My name is Dan Oscar by 8 Drop, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace.